We all lived through quite a year during 2016. Here's a look back, month by month. In January, Michigan declared a state of emergency in the city of Flint, following the detection of elevated levels of lead in children. A switch in the city's water supply caused lead to leach from old pipes. February saw the death of Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia at age 79. Today I am nominating Chief Judge. The Republican-controlled Senate declined to act on President Obama's nomination of Judge Merrick Garland as Scalia's successor. In March, ISIS claimed responsibility for back-to-back -back bombings at the Brussels airport and subway that killed 32 people. On April 21st, Queen Elizabeth marked her 90th birthday, although the full-scale public celebration wasn't held until June. In May, NASA announced its Kepler Space Telescope had discovered 1,284 new planets in distant solar systems. That brings the total number of discovered planets to more than 3,200. June saw the mass shooting at the Pulse nightclub in Orlando. I don't know where my son is. No one can tell me where my son is. Gunman Omar Mateen shot and killed 49 people and wounded 53 others before dying in a shootout with police. In July, a hot air balloon caught fire after hitting power lines and crashed in Texas, killing all 16 people on board. It is really hot today. This past August checked in as the hottest August on record. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration says the average worldwide temperature was one and two-thirds degrees Fahrenheit higher than the 20th century average. We are extremely fortunate and grateful that nobody was killed. In September, a bomb exploded on a busy New York City street, injuring 29 people. Suspect Ahmed Khan Rahami, an Afghan-born U.S. citizen, was arrested after a shootout with police in New Jersey. In October, Hurricane Matthew struck the southeastern coast from Florida to North Carolina, forcing an estimated 2 million evacuations and killing at least 26 people. November brought Donald Trump's defeat of Hillary Clinton in the presidential election. He won a clear victory in the Electoral College while losing the popular vote by almost 2.9 million votes. While in December, a fire at an Oakland, California warehouse filled with cluttered artist studios killed 36 people. 